All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here with a little more Perizno, and uh, today we're going to be taking out the elves. So I already started the war off with them because um, I wanted to do things a little differently than we did last episode with the valley here. But uh, we finished off the valley here. wasn't really too bad. Grund was uh, a bit annoying. Um, honestly, all their castles were just, uh, they weren't hard, but they weren't easy. I, we lost about probably 50 troops at each one, but for us right now, that's really not too big of a deal. Um, as long as it's not our Crimson Rangers, all the other guys we can train up or just buy super easily. So we finished off the Valhir clan, and uh, at one point, at the very end, um, when I was taking Grozny, the full force, or what I assume is the full force of our army came in, it actually probably isn't the full force, It was, but it was like a cloud of vassals about this big. And uh, they started hopping in against some of the, the people of Valahir armies. And at one point, I saw over 6,000 of our own troops in one single battle. So we've got a pretty healthy-sized army right now. Um, we have, we've only had one lord uh, go away from us, uh, defect from us right now. And so he took Yord Castle with him to Drahara. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. Took over Lil, took over a couple of these castles. So now all that's left is Fourn Iron. Azure Keep, and Kalataka. Um, all three of which are, I believe, the capitals of um, different factions. The Lintoran Elves, the Geldern Elves, and then whoever the fuck these people were out of. We never even really fought them. <laughs> um, the Savages. But yeah, so uh, we're going to go against Fornarn here first. Let me show you what army we're rolling with right now. 235 of the Household Guards. 267 of the Geldern Dukes. Uh, 57 of the Lintoran Crimson Rangers and 68 of the Templars of Faith. Uh, so we're looking pretty good. Us, ourselves, our stats have continued to go up. I didn't wait too long between the two wars this time like I did in the last episode. Um, so we didn't gain as many attribute points as we did before, but still we gained a significant amount, especially intelligence. I think we've gotten like three or four more points in that, so that's helped us out, get our athletics up high. Because I want, I want Torvik to be like a... Like a fucking sprinter just moving around the map. Just a little midget <laughs> going at breakneck speeds. Chopping heads off and whatnot. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. Holy shit, I didn't realize they have over 2,000 prisoners uh, in this town. Alrighty then. So I was a little worried I wasn't going to get this episode out for you guys today. And uh, that's because um, for whatever reason my internet was not working. Uh, last night, like, and that was, well, at first it didn't let me connect, and then me and my dad tried to, uh, you know, do, uh, mess around with the router a little bit to get it to work, and then it just shut off completely, like, it wasn't just my computer, nobody could use it. Luckily, my dad was a bro, he, uh, he went ahead and woke up this morning, well, he already was waking up early, but he fixed everything, so everything's working out good now. Um, and I'm recording this at, like, just after my dental appointment, so it's, what, 11.30 in the morning? So, if this is, like, a 30-minute episode, I should be able to, uh, record, get this edited, and set it for uploading. It won't be as early as normally, uh, that I have the Friday videos, because I think I normally have those go out around 2. Um, it'll probably be one of the normal times at 3 or 4 that this is gonna get uploaded. But, at least it's, at least we're not breaking the streak. That's the main thing that, uh, I wanted to make sure it didn't happen. Okay, seem to be doing a pretty good job so far. Let's go ahead and drop some healing for our troops. There we go. Whenever we use that skill now, it's 79% of their hit points. It's so freaking huge. Um, can I get through here? I think it might be time for us to charge in, maybe. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and tell our cavalry and infantry to charge in. Um, the household guards have been so fucking useful. So useful. Not only are they super tanky, um, I gave him a new sword. I gave him one of those elvish noble swords that we were considering using ourselves. It's not a great version. I think it might actually be chipped or something, but it was better than what we'd given them before. Um, but really, it's their it's their bows that are so huge for us. Because um, we don't have too many of the crimson archers anymore. We got, like, what, 60 of them now? I have another... Oh, about 350 that are ready to train up into uh, them. Um, it just is going to take a lot of time. But, uh, it, those take a lot of time to, so much time. Even when we have 300, 400 of them, all receiving training from Arcanus, we might get one every two days that actually levels up. So, it's kind of brutal, but whatever. Um, just means more time that, we, uh, that we're chilling and making money. Speaking of which, 
what at some point we're gonna go around and actually collect all the money that we have sitting at the various towns and it's gonna be kind of insane it's i mean not kind of insane it is going to be very insane Jeez, all these towns over here where are the reinforcements coming in from i don't think the reinforcements come in from here do they oh wait no it's this no it's not yeah why are reinforcements i guess these guys are just chilling down here or something because they shouldn't reinforcements shouldn't come down this direction okay Okay, we're good now. We're good now. We got our infantry charge against that archer line. Yeah, we're fine. Right, can we drop some more hit points? More healing? Yes, we can. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, I think we should be good now. And we'll go ahead and tell our archers to come right here. And what I've really found useful recently is this one, the nearby soldiers. Um, that way I can get some of my household guards and put them over like places like that where I want to have them uh, firing. And so, and you don't want all of them to come, but you want at least some of them. So uh, I put them over there, and then if I get any of the Geldrin Dukes by accident, you know, you just, boom, tell Cavalry to charge. This uh, this, this season has been really good for me learning how to, uh, I guess, properly control my troops. Um, just because, like, for once, we haven't been using um, strictly Cavalry. We've been using Cavalry, a little bit of infantry, not too much infantry, but a lot of archers to go along with it. Um, so it's actually helping me out tactics-wise. Holy shit, yeah, look at all these household guards we have. The best part is, is we can buy 200 of them. And I was like, F fuck, whatever, 2 million? That's nothing to us right now. That's nothing to us. I think we might have close to 20 million in total assets right now if we were to go around and collect it all. Because um, we've got 5 million sitting in, in Murdenhall's treasury. And that's not even counting most of the land that I've been seeing. Um, most of the towns, we have like 500,000 just sitting there for the, uh, the landowners and all that all that jazz. So, it's looking good. I've uh, killed 300 of them so far. Now it's just going to be a bit of a, um, a mosh pit up there for the next, I don't know, 10-15 <laughs> minutes or so. Ooh, I'm starting to think. This episode might take me longer than I, than I expected to record. Hmm, just because we do have three castles to take out in there. Well, this one's probably going to be the toughest, because I don't think... Has Four and Iron ever been taken from them? Actually, I think Four and Iron has. But Calteca wasn't theirs originally, ne neither was the Azure Keep. So, I don't think the garrisons should be too huge. Val here had some really big garrisons. Their last castles, not even their towns, their last castles had around 900 uh, to 1,000 troops just in the garrison, plus whatever uh, lords they had. Grund had 2,000 in total um, with their lords. And that was a bloody siege. That was a very nasty siege. Um, still only lost about 50 troops from it, but it was, it was brutal. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do here is uh, go ahead and take a break until this siege is over. Because this, this, this is probably going to take a little while. Alright, looks like we're finishing up here. Just got a couple of them left. 11 of them to be exact. So, one uh, one interesting thing that I didn't know until last episode, I think, when you guys told me. The Geldrin Dukes, which I was going to get just because they're better fighters than the Draken Ritters and easy to train up. They also give a leadership bonus uh, for party morale. Each one of them gives you plus two to your morale. So, that's actually fucking huge when you have... What do we have? Like 235 of them? Probably not anymore. Yeah, we have 214 of them now. So that's another 428 morale bonus that we're getting from these guys. And at one point I had like 350 whatever of them, and it was over 700. That means we don't ever have to worry about morale. We don't have to win battles, because it used to be to maintain an army this size, we had to constantly be fighting. Otherwise, dudes would get, you know, pissed off um, that they were just sitting around not doing anything, and they'd leave. Holy shit, 688 prisoners, and that wasn't enough? What the hell? God damn, but look at all these guys. And we're going to just let that go straight into the garrison. I want to see this. Well, actually, first off, I want to sell these uh, prisoners off and see how much we get from it. I gotta imagine it's going to be a lot. Holy shit, over 100,000. I think that's the first time we've ever had that happen before. And another 164 after that. You know, I really thought we were at the point that we didn't have to worry about prisoner management, but apparently we need even more. 688 is not enough. So how many... Holy shit! 
Fort, Fort Iron just got stationed with over 1,400 troops just from the prison garrison inside it. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Um, they had, it got, just by freeing their prisoners, it now has a bigger garrison than it had guarding it in the first place. That's, oh, holy shit, okay, okay. So they got a decent sized army over here. We're just gonna slide right on past. Don't mind if I do. Oh, you really want to come for me? Yeah, running away. That's what I thought. You should see, I caught wind of uh, Drahara trying to take Fountain Hall. So I went over there to check it out and see what happened. Drahara has more vassals than even we do at this point. It was like a cloud this big. And there were so many dudes there that when I got close to them, the game started glitching out. It is actually nuts. Luckily, they didn't go in against the siege... Uh, or they didn't go in for a siege against Fountain Hall, because they would have won, hands down. Fountain Hall only had 2,000 troops in the garrison, and um, I'm guessing that was closer to maybe, like, uh, six, seven, eight, no, more than that. It might even be close to 10,000 troops they had there. So, anyways, look at all of our, uh, our monies just sitting around. All the monies. Most of the places, like I said, around 500,000, some have more, uh, 850,000 sitting there, 920,000 sitting in McCann, um, so yeah, we, we're fine on money, we are so good on money, we can buy all the household guards we want and be okay, be just dandy, oh look at here, this keep only has 425 inside, how kind of them, how kind indeed, oh it's a siege tower, shit, um, that, that whole horde might come back and try to stop us here. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Looks like they're going to let it happen. Alright, that's fine by me. Let's go, boys. Let's do this. Alright, put uh, you guys right there. Put the Gelder and Dukes. Actually, might want to back the household guards up. Because we want them to have a view of everybody. That'll work. Um, do that once or twice. Archers. Although we don't even have that many archers. Really, yeah. <laughs> They're outnumbered so heavily by our household guards. I might try to look for a, a better bow in between episodes. Because I want to I wanna make sure that our household guards are have the optimal equipment. Problem is, is they have 9 power draw. So, there's one bow that I was thinking about giving them that's better than the current one they have. But it had 10 power draw. So, I don't know. This might be the best thing in the game that we can get for him. I believe it's an it's an elven bow. Um, and by far, the elven bows are the best. Uh, I think we looted a, a masterwork version of the best Valahir bow there was. And it wasn't even close to like a mid-tier elven bow. So, oh, okay. That's a little overstating things. It wasn't that great compared to, you know, even some of the lower upper tier. Is that a thing? You know, not the best stuff, but some of their okay stuff. Yeah, it wasn't even that great. So, eh, they, they might already be maxed out. I am looking to get some more armor, though. Some better armor. We got a couple more Prisno Rune Knights. Uh, I think about three or four of them I found just uh, sitting in Valahir Castles. So, luckily, I was actually checking the prisoner pools because I wasn't recruiting any dudes. Because um, they would essentially have to be Prisno Rune Knights or, like, uh, faith units for it to be worth it for us to recruit them at this point. But, so we got a couple of them, and I was checking out their armor, and their armor is actually way better than ours. It's got pretty similar body stats, like only a couple more, but the leg armor is way, way better. So, I don't know, maybe I'm going to have to do some grinding at the Mystic Merchant, try to find some of that. Um, if not for us, then, then just for our troops. But, yeah, it, I mean, <laughs> you guys have to see, it looks pretty fucking sweet as well. Um, kind of, it, it reminds me of the, the... The Twilight Armor or whatever, um, the Prisno Twilight Armor, except it, it's like gray and steel rather than black, like black steel. So, I don't know. Hopefully I find some so I can show you guys. Otherwise, I guess I can just, you know, tell the, uh, um, what's it called, the Rune Knights to show me their equipment and that'll work. Alright, boys. Here we go. Just as their reinforcements are showing up, this should be fun. Let me take out this dude. Thank you very much. Yeah, so uh, I wonder how many kills we're up to now. I might actually have to check that in a hot sec. Just because I'm curious. Do we have any? Okay, they do have some archers over there. That might be worth it for me to go take out. I can't really try to duel them from this far. Because our, our crossbow just isn't that accurate. Get some more healing here. And as soon as we're inside, we'll 
drop some healing for our troops. And then we'll continue along our merry way. So yeah, we're definitely getting speedy here. I mean, we have 8 athletics now, and 38 agility. This has to be one of our fastest heroes ever. I mean, you know, besides like Zanin, besides, um... Oh, what's it called? The Blood and Steel playthrough that we did with, uh... Was it Wolfgar? I want to say his name was Wolfgar. But he was, he was something else. Um, because he was a barbarian. Barbarians in that, in that mod are just given ridiculously high physical stats. Um... Because that's they really don't have anything else great about them. Oh, holy shit. We're losing a lot of dudes all of a sudden. What's going on here? Oh, it's these guys up here. Yeah, this is why we need to kill these archers. Because they're just going off on our troops when they're not facing them right now. Alright, those ones down. It's kind of like a mix of Alintorn units and Tauranian. Interesting. I mean, it's kind of cool because we're basically fighting a mix whenever we go into these castles now. Because... So many factions have been taken out that their lords have just gone all over the place. Um, shit, that's a lot of different... Okay, luckily the elven guys are actually pretty shitty in melee. Even the crimson rangers. For 735 experience, they sure don't do a whole lot of damage unless they're shooting. Alright, drop some more healing for your boys. Yep, now that kill feed's looking a little bit better. And I'm not sure where the reinforcements are going to be spawning in for these guys. This looks like they're directly below us. It's almost as if they're not really doing anything right now. I'm going to tell my archers to go... Come on. You're going to let me... Oh, there we go. Boom. So I'm going to sit right there. And let's go down and join the uh, the carnage here. They didn't have... To, what? It was like 400 in the garrison plus another like 200 from lords. So it really shouldn't be too bad here. Should just be able to finish off the whole siege. We'll just sit back right here and uh, take some pot shots. Take some pot shots. I I'm still upset that we have not found a better Assassin's Blade. Like, we're still using just a generic, plain version Assassin's Blade. We could be doing so much more damage if we could find a Masterwork version, but there's just none to be found. And one of you guys were saying, like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, VMP. I found, like, a whole bunch of them. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I didn't. I have not been able to find any at all. Um... It's kind of annoying. I'd almost give them to uh, our household guards, but I think I think this sword, these swords that I have right now are probably pretty good because um, they have 105 weapon reach and I wouldn't want them to have much longer. This is about as long as you want for siege battles, uh, for that close range combat. Um, and it did, it did more damage than the other sword that, that I gave them, and I think it was a little bit faster, that's why I'm having them use it right now. But I wouldn't want it to be much longer. If we could find a masterwork version of this, that'd be great. Um, I'd almost consider it, consider using it ourselves, but I'd probably talk myself into just letting our household guards use it because we have so many household guards, it's actually more worth it for them to be using it than us. All right, those dudes got away. A um, bunch of random units, whatever. Take 200 prisoners. And, yeah, don't really need any of those guys. Um, yep, yeah, see, here's another one. This is rusty. I think this one's even worse than the other one. Yeah. Oh well. Go ahead and leave that. Go ahead and defer appointment. I'll hand all these these places out uh, once we're done with the war, which is not going to be too much longer now. Holy sh- I mean, we are tearing through these guys. <laughs> once again, 532 uh, in the garrison when they only had um, a 400 <laughs> when we attacked it. I love it. I love it. Oh, those guys are walking on water. That's, that's pretty neat. They got, uh, kind of like, you think like snowshoes, but, but water shoes. Yeah, that's what they put on their horse's hooves. It's an elven, uh, elven trick. Alright, Kelteca. 746 units. That's all they've got left. Let's fucking do this. We didn't even need our, uh, our vassals for this. We're just gonna take out the elves completely by ourselves. I don't think our vassals have taken a single, um, ooh, what the fuck is this siege? Oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay. What is this gonna be like? Our household guards to go over here. Oh, there's like a freaking... What? Oh shit, we gotta go on this thing and walk over? What the fuck? This is a really weird map. A very weird map indeed. Is there any way for us to hop up on here? 
Or do we actually have to walk all the way across that boardwalk? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we can get around this way. What is this, man? And this isn't even an elven city. This is the, uh, not the Kulan Horde. Who, who are these guys? They're like the, the Native American type, um, faction, I want to say. We never really fought them, so I, I can't say that with, uh, much certainty. But I think that's what they were. Got of household guards to get in. Uh, because the Geldrin Dukes, they're nice, but they're not that nice. Oh, look at their swords, though. Oh, man, those look sweet. They got, like, elven runes on them and shit. Okay, I see you. I see you. Get out of here. Okay, that's a lot of freaking archers in here. Hey, does anyone want to help me here? Shit. And remember, we changed the difficulty up so that we were playing on max damage. Um, so, we're taking a lot of damage from these boys. Here we go. We do have a little bit of healing left, though. We are healing 40, what is that, 44 hit points per use of that skill. Ouch. Okay, now we're low. Now we're low. We gotta back up a bit. Oops. Don't mind me. We'll go ahead and do the uh, peekaboo method. Patented VMP. Oh, ouch. That didn't work. Uh, that's why I'm pat. That's why nobody else patented it. Doesn't always work. Oh, shit. Hello. Get out of here. Ooh, we are low on hit points. Very low. Very low. Very low. Drop some healing for our troops at least. Ooh, that was close. Actually, we didn't even kill that dude. Boom. <laughs> they all drop at the same time between us and our household guards. I love it. Let's keep on moving. Can we jump from rooftop to rooftop? Oh, no. They got an invisible wall there. Damn. That would have been cool. That would have been really cool. Can you imagine if uh, it had, like, animations like that where you're, like, jumping from rooftop to rooftop and you, like, you know, if you see a dude down there and you try to attack him and you, like, jump and you can do, like, a diving kill? Oh, man. That'd be sweet. I mean, it wouldn't be... I mean, be somewhat realistic. You could do it. Like, maybe... <laughs> maybe if they made it so that, like, uh... Depending on what your athletics was, it would change your probability of success. Um, of doing that. So if you had, like, a maxed out athletics ability, yeah, you could be doing cool-ass shit like that. Like, something out of Assassin's Creed, but... Oh, whoops. Knocked out that guard. Can you imagine that? Oh, man, that'd be cool. It'd be a little OP. And But can you imagine, also, if your troops could do that, then... So, like, normally, um, when you have a whole bunch of troops, like, up on the walls, but they can't quite get past past the staircase, and so, like, there's a bunch of enemies below on the staircase. Imagine if your troops were just jumping down off the wall and, like, you know, freaking stabbing enemies. Oh, that'd be sweet. Be something out of, like, uh, like the Total War games, um, with, like, collision physics and all that stuff. Which it looks like there's going to be a lot of collision physics in Warband, or in Bannerlord, just from what I've seen uh, so far from the trailers. At least with horses. Maybe not as much... Oh, whoops, got taken out. Maybe not as much with the, um... With just individual units on foot, but at least with the, uh... The horses, I, I saw some people get knocked and, like, go miles. Um, so that'll be fun to see, at least. How many have we killed so far? 460 of them? This isn't going to take too long. It's a little bit laggy, though, once again. It's because, uh... We push them back so quick, and they all end up spawning in that tiny little area. Yeah. At least these guys are kind of spawning in over a more spread out area. I'm to look over this map a little bit, just to see. So, yeah, it's in just the middle of, like, a swamp area. This is really cool, actually. How is this the capital city of an empire? Well, it's not an empire, but of a nation. You could fit like freaking 50 people could live here. What is this? This is literally just a little tree fort area. What's the freaking point? That's the only somewhat unrealistic bit of it. I don't know. Sometimes, whenever I look at, you know, the, the towns in Mountain Blade, I'm just like, come on, man. How many dudes could really live there? The exception to that is like a world of ice and fire that mod holy shit they've got some huge cities that were custom built for um westeros um and those look really nice and those are like okay yeah i could realistically see 
10,000 people living here. And I understand you can't make the maps that huge. Like, the cities would have to be huge realistically just to fit that many people. Um, it, eh. So, yeah, I understand why. It's just, it's a little game-breaking. Not really. Okay, we won. That, was, that wasn't even too bad. Lost another 30 dudes to take out 750. A whole bunch of freelancers. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So now... Now, we just have to take out, uh, let's see, anything good here? Not really. Now we just have to take out their army and it'll all be over. Alright, for appointment, boom. So they got nothing left in terms of fiefs. Well, we'll double check after this, um, after we sell off these prisoners, but I'm pretty sure they got nothing left in terms of fiefs. So now we just gotta finish them off. No more respawning. Boom. Very good. Right? Let's check. Factions. Elintor. Nope. It occupies it occupies nowhere. So they've got this many that many vassals. Whoops. What about Drahara? Yeah, Drahara just has so many freaking vassals. Probably about as many as we do, just because they're not as picky as we are. Yeah. Eh, we might have a few more. We might have a few more. Okay, let's go over here and see what's happening. Unfortunately, I don't think Herzog Oscar has started a uh, a campaign yet. Um, it's a little bit of a problem. I guess we could just go in there ourselves and take on the uh, take on their army. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, Herzog Oscar just patrolling around town, dude. I need you to come fight. I need you to come fight, baby. I'll take this dude out in a little bit. Uh, oh, here we go. Ooh, Queen Arwen. Nice. If we take her out, that'll be a big blow. I don't know how strong she is, but, um, I assume she's got to be at least decent. Surrender or die. Do, do, do. Charge in, boy. Oh, yeah. It's a river. Get out of here. Go back in. I'm not down to the whole river thing. Whoops. We we're still a little bit hurt there. I didn't even see how many enemies were there. Mm, wow. Probably a decent amount. If they're starting with the same amount of troops that we are, we've got like 600 in the in our party, plus our considerably high... Uh, what the fuck was that sword? What the hell? Did you see that dude? That sword was taller than he was. What? What kind of, I want to know what unit that was. That looked actually sweet as fuck. God damn. Oh, gee, here's another one. A Lintorn Ranger? No, that's not it. We have Lintorn Rangers. It's this dude. What is he? Come here. Did we kill him? No. No, there's another Lintorn Ranger. Okay, here, we can try to kill one here. Damn it, out of my way. Stop. Holy shit, they're hitting us hard with those. 30, 40 damage a hit. What are they? I want to know what they are. High Elf, high elf Sentinels? I don't think so. Let's watch this dude and wait for him to be killed. I'm watching this one right here. Either one of these dudes. Come on, someone take him out. Someone take him out. Ooh. Not dead yet. There he goes. Lintorn Guardians. Huh. Wow. I mean, they look pretty fucking sweet. Those guys were dropping bombs on us. If they're doing that much damage to us with our armor, imagine how much they do to normal units. Oof. Yeah. Freaking executing our Geldern Dukes. I guess that's probably what they're trained to do. <laughs> the Geldern Dukes are the uh, um, rebels in terms of the, uh, the Elven Civil War that was going on. And so we just came in and said, Enough with your Civil War. Enough with your fighting. We're just going to take all your land, and you can be our vassals. This is how this is going to work, okay? So let's see. Oh, it's going pretty well, though. I mean, the kill feed is largely green, and it's starting to fade off the page just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I, oh my god, I love our household guards. Love them so much. They all have freaking wyverns. Wyverns. 
Uh, looks like the reinforcements starting to come in now are pretty shitty as well, so I think this is going to be about it. Yeah, I don't think they got too much left. I wonder if Queen Arwen might have just had some really good tactics herself, and that's why they started with as many troops as we did. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Hmm. That or we might have another wave left to go with this. Oh, no, that was it. Boom! Queen Arwen, you're my prisoner! Uh, Archduke got away, whatever. I don't care. Take your prisoners. Don't really need any of this. Yeah, the high elf swords. 167 weapon reach. Good god. Why? Why do you need that much? Ooh. This bow is pretty good. Crimson bow. Let's see if this is better than what, uh, what our household guards are using right now. Might be about the same. Mm -hmm. Um, looks like it's a tiny bit more damage. 35 piercing. Same power draw. 95 accuracy, 95 speed rating. So a little more accurate, a little less speed, a little more damage. But it looks a lot cooler. It's crimson. So we're going to use that. Yeah. <laughs> That's my reasoning behind it. It looks cooler. Uh, you'd be surprised how many, uh, <laughs> how many of my decisions in my various series just rely on that. Okay, look at all these dudes just running around. We need to get our mercenary campaign in here, or not a mercenary campaign. We just need to get our dudes in here. What's going on? Can I tell them to, like, run over here and take these dudes out? I understand the elves are not a threat anymore, but we're still trying to kill them. Oh, no. Morale is low. Too many of our dukes have died. Wait, no it's not. Oh, the Lindhorn units are have low morale because we just murdered their entire country. Um, yeah, negative 73 for that. But look, inspirational soldiers, plus 446. Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, plus our own leadership is giving us plus 260. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to get our, mer or our uh, army... In here and uh, see if I can show you guys a bit of what our full uh, might is looking like. Oh, they're giving us 19 grand for her. Go ahead, have her back. She can't spawn in. Okay, here's a small look at what our uh, our army is looking like. Uh, Herzog just started this uh, campaign, and this is you know uh, about 10 lords. We probably have 20 or 30. Look, they're still joining us. They're still coming in. It's such a huge amount. It's insane. Yep. Here we go. More the merrier. And it's some of these dudes are walking around with you know, five, six hundred troops. <laughs> it's insane. Uh, no one can stop us. Most of the elves are already dead. I don't think they have too many lords remaining. Um, oh, that's it. He sent them away. So I assume that means there isn't really much else in terms of uh, elven forces stopping us here. Oh, who's this? Ankar seducers. You're not elves. So, I guess... Here we go. Here's a lord. We'll just go ahead and try to take out the last few lords here. And, uh, the elves should be defeated. And just like that, Elintor has been eliminated. Alright. So, with that finally being done... I say finally, that didn't take almost any time at all. We now own the entire northern half of the map. More than probably the... Oh, wait. Except for Yord Castle. Because that stupid fucking lord that uh, defected. But, <laughs> we essentially own... Not even just mo Like, the upper two-thirds of the map. It's kind of insane. All we have left... Is the Realm of the Falcon... And Drahara. And I think next episode... Is going to be us destroying... Uh, Drahara. Because I want to save... Uh, the Realm of the Falcon uh, for the last, because they are going to be the toughest of all of our sieges so far. Tougher than Macavia, supposedly. Although, I don't know if that's going to be true, but that's what I've been told. So, anyways, as always, guys, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy.